Residents living near the Panama City Garden Club are expressing concern about some potential neighbors. It's a nonprofit that operates what they call sober homes for people recovering from drug and alcohol addiction. As News 13's Faith Graham tells us, current residents are questioning the legality of the situation. Oxford House provides sober living options in communities across the nation. The company already operates two of these homes in Panama City. According to their online directory, the Oxford House Panama City was established last year on West 12th Court. It houses eight men. The Oxford House Mako was established a few weeks ago. It's on Huntington Circle in Forest Park and can house 10 men at a time. The third home, Oxford House Sugar Palms, will be located at this home on the corner of West 8th Street and Wood Avenue and will apparently house up to nine women and children. Neighbors have taken to social media to question whether or not a sober living home should be allowed to operate in a neighborhood zoned exclusively as residential. Others write the potential tenants make them feel unsafe, but we couldn't find anyone who wanted to make those complaints on camera. Panama City City Commissioner Jenna Halligus said on social media she would dig into the situation for residents. The City of Panama City did issue a written statement saying they've recently become aware of citizens' concerns and are assessing the concerns as they relate to business regulations and zoning requirements. We also spoke to Oxford House staff who said they would consider doing interviews but did not get back in touch with us on Wednesday. In Panama City, Faith Graham, News 13, Panhandle Strong.